Believe it or not, clams and beef liver have decent amounts of vitamin B12. There are also other foods where we get vitamin B12 from as well. Uh, meat, dairy, and some breakfast cereals that are fortified with vitamin B12. There are other foods as well, right? But those are some of the main categories. Um, according to the NIH, though, this is surprising to me, guys. I don't know if you knew this, but uh, plant foods have no vitamin B12 unless they are fortified with it. Uh, that's really important to keep in mind. Guys, we are talking today about the signs and symptoms of a vitamin B12 deficiency. As a family doctor, this is something I deal with and test for a lot in the office. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician. Let's just jump right in, okay? Uh, uh, vitamin B12 is super important for a number of things. First of all, it keeps blood cells healthy. It keeps nerve cells healthy. Uh, and it also plays a role in making DNA. I mean, what could be better than that? Remember that vitamin B12 levels can be tested by a lab test, but the signs and symptoms are what might surprise you. First of all, neurological symptoms. This is something that when I'm testing for B12 in the office, I am often testing someone for B12 because of neurological symptoms. What is that, you might say? Well, it is things like numbness, uh, tingling, hands, feet, uh, other places. Also problems with balance. That's right. If someone sort of becomes uncoordinated uh, or other balance issues, I'm probably going to be testing for B12. But the other thing too is um, mind changes, uh, dementia, depression, confusion, even poor memory, like memory changes and things like that. Um, I am checking that B12 level because I, I can't even tell you. Um, I have I've detected a low B12 in a number of patients over the years who have presented with these symptoms or these concerns. So this sort of falls into the nerve uh, um, nerve cells, sort of nerve health category that I mentioned. But also I mentioned that B12 plays a role in uh, blood cells. Um, a lack of vitamin B12 can cause a certain type of anemia and people with this may have uh, fatigue. They may feel weak. They may feel tired. They might have other signs of anemia like um, pale, sort of what we call mucous membranes. That means sort of their mouth, their eyes are, are sort of pale in color. This is not an exhaustive list for all the symptoms that can happen with a B12 deficiency, but these are some of the main ones uh, that we tend to look out for. Um, you know, the symptoms are wide ranging. That is why this is an important discussion. Now, uh, as always, I'm not asking you to diagnose yourself. I'm not asking you to say, oh, I'm tired. Uh, it might be B12 or it has to be B12 or I've got numbness. It's got to be B12. Look, it could be carpal tunnel. Look, uh, these symptoms could be a number of things, but it's to alert you of the importance of paying attention to your diet, eating a, a well-balanced, healthy diet. I would also say if you have a, a very restrictive diet, make sure you're talking to your doctor about any other needs that you may have nutritionally because of your restrictive diet. Um, I would also say this is another sort of plug for not diagnosing yourself or going out and taking a B12 supplement because by the way, guys, that is not what you should do. You should be talking to your doctor and, uh, Supplements can have, you know, negative side effects and downsides too, and not everybody needs them. So before you take anything, talk to your doctor. But but it's a reminder that if you're having symptoms, talk to your doctor. Why? Because there may be an underlying issue, such as a B12 deficiency, that could be easily fixed or at least uh, dealt with, okay? There's lots of underlying medical reasons that could contribute to somebody being B12 deficient, including uh, dietary. So uh, just understand that that is the case, okay? I'm not going to go into that because it's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. B12 is important. If you have questions about your B12 levels or if you have symptoms that you don't understand or are problematic, make sure you see your doctor. Let us help you with this. Uh, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I'm a practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. Guys, let me know if you know of anyone who's had a B12 deficiency, if you have had one yourself, etc. cetera. Uh, I'm always curious to know. Um, by the way, if you have not liked and followed my page on Facebook, I invite you to do so. And for those of you who watch me on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. By the way, Facebookers, I have to say thank you for all the stars that you send. Uh, for those of you who send stars, I, I respond to you personally. And I have subscription groups in both Facebook and YouTube where you can get exclusive content, uh, private lives and things like that. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments. I will see you soon.